Hey guys, SH here, and today's video, I'm going to be going over the lag compensation in Battlefield 4, and I'm going to be explaining why this is happening in this game right now. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, do you guys remember back in Battlefield 3, the lag compensation wasn't that big of a deal at all? And right now, the major problems in Battlefield 4 in this game is that there are just too many lags. I mean, too much lag in that game. And what I mean by lag is not like a computer lag or like a network lag or something. It's just a server lag and it is not your fault that you're getting lag in the server. It's the server's fault or the developer's fault that the lag is happening. And actually, I know a lot of you guys are not understanding about how the lagging works in Battlefield 4. So right now, I'm going to show you a clip between Battlefield 3 and Battlefield for um, showing how the server delay works so in order to make the server possible and go up fast the server and its own network has to communicate with each other and what Battlefield 4 did is that it actually delayed the communication between the server and its own hosting and that is one of the reasons why the killing trading is going on I don't even know if that's how you call it and that is one of the reasons why you're dying so quickly and you're feeling like you're dying with just one freaking headshot. And that happens so many times while playing Battlefield 4. And I think that is one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people are complaining about the game and why a lot of people said that this game had a really really bad start. And this is purely my opinion, but I think I get it because like think about back in Battlefield 3. Was there that many features just like Battlefield 4 back in Battlefield 3? Because if you guys look at Battlefield 3 carefully, there was only tanks Yes, there was no revolution at all, or levolution, or whatever it's called. And there was just certain assault rifles, and SMGs, or the uh, cipher rifles that you can only use. But now in Battlefield 4, there are just so many things going on at the same time. So the server is just cannot handle it. The server just cannot handle the entire thing at once. Like, because the server has to handle the levolution, the server has to handle the entire attack pros, and all the, you know, ranged snipers going over across the map. And just, I don't think the server is good at handling those kind of stuff. And by the way, just think that the server does not change at all. So, server can either run Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. And the server that is running Battlefield 3 servers can handle more efficiently because there aren't that many features in Battlefield 3 as much as Battlefield 4. And that's how the developers were able to fix the lack conversation in Battlefield 3 just in the beginning. But now, because there's just so many things going on in Battlefield 4 and there's just one same freaking server as Battlefield 3 the server just cannot handle it and that's why the DICE developer decided to um, lower the response time between the server and its hosting and right now we do not have any choice whatsoever to fix this lag currently because like I said there's just so many things going on in Battlefield 4 that DICE actually has to fix some of the bugs and stuff and yeah that is kind of going rough time but I think they can do it I mean <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if they can achieve just like in Battlefield 3 but I think the thing they have to focus on right now the most is to balance the weapons because it's just so annoying I mean like, if you look at a tank, for example, that freaking shell, I mean, I, I can't remember the upgrade that you can get. You can pretty much get a rapid fire with that uh, 120 milliliter tank shell, and that got me pretty annoying, and <laughs> there are just so many things going on. So yeah, this lack of compensation, like I said, there's just nothing that we can do about it, and the only thing that they can do is to optimize the game and make it feel like the way that we did back in Battlefield 3. And that's pretty much it. We have nothing to do and we just have no idea about it. So I think that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!